I run a digital marketing agency and we help people in the financial services industry and uh, mm-hmm. help get them customers. And uh, we do that using online marketing. And so Facebook, Instagram, Google, and YouTube, and we're really good at it. And today, we are going to be talking about this guy right here, along with the massive changes that have just been announced. So if I'm looking in two spots, it's because of these changes. So if I lost you there on Facebook, uh, Facebook has announced a massive change to their advertising platform where businesses specifically in housing, jobs, and credit, they are changing the targeting options and they're taking away some of the options, which is a really good thing because the reason why they're doing it is to get rid of or uh, potentially eliminate or make it so that people cannot be discriminated against on the platform. And that's always a good thing, right? Like we're behind that 100%. We think that this is a fantastic change, but there is a way, right, to take these uh, changes and take them to your benefit. So let's go through the changes first, and then we'll talk about something very special, and then we'll talk about how uh, beautiful dark chocolate, and uh, and this guy right here, the lovely peanut butter. We're gonna talk about how these two come together to make a massive impact in your business, but we'll talk about that in just a second here. So the big changes, here's what we know so far. So first, the details that they're taking out of the targeting are gender, uh, race, and a little bit of location. So you're not going to be able to target people based specifically on their zip code anymore. And again, this is only specific to housing, jobs, and credit. So all of our mortgage customers where we're driving closed loans for you, this is going to change some of the targeting options that we have available for you. Now, two other big things that you need to know about for these changes. Uh, The first is that the changes aren't happening like today, right? The the announcement said that late this year, they should have this stuff in place for us. So um, there's time, essentially. The other thing is that they are going to be launching a new advertising portal just for advertisers in these three niches, housing, jobs, and credit. And you will have to go in and run your advertisements on that specific platform so that you don't have the ability to potentially discriminate against people with your advertisements, right? So uh, that's good because we will have a new advertising platform. And uh, it's been my experience. I've been digital marketing for 13 years now. There is always change. And on the other side of that change, the people that are not engaged in shenanigans, the people that are actually doing a good job of helping people through their advertisements, these changes are always beneficial for us, right? It's always shocking at first, and then the people that weren't doing a good job of advertising, they lose and they go away, which is awesome, right? And then we get the benefit of the changes that are going out there. So that's awesome. The third thing that's really important for us, and nobody's uh, really made a big deal about this in all the news that we've seen thus far, is that they are going to be putting together almost like a database of advertisements. So all of the ads that are being run in housing, jobs, and finance, you're gonna have an open database where you can go and look at all of the ads that are targeting those people. And I'm sure they're going to give us all kinds of incredible information, uh, probably things like who's running the ad, where they were directed to. So when you look at the ability to take a funnel that's already working, right? Or take a competitor that's been doing a good job, or even just brainstorming sessions on how to make your particular advertisements better, we're gonna have this incredible resource that Facebook is going to give to us over time. So those are kind of the major changes. You don't need to freak out right now. It's all good. But I do want to tell you that these changes really are only going to have a significant impact on the people that aren't doing a good job of advertising. Because here's the thing, okay? When you go into a Facebook advertising account, if all you're doing is going in and saying, hey, find me males or females, in this particular zip code and target them uh, using this specific target, right? And just blasting them with advertisements, that's not going to work. 
Okay, what we do at Connection Incorporated, which is our marketing agency here, is we take a holistic approach to our advertisement. Understanding that the Facebook algorithm is far more powerful, far more powerful than any type of targeting option that you can put in in the beginning. So the way that we start a campaign is looking at how do we train the Facebook algorithm to go find the right people in this audience. So if you're newer to Facebook and Instagram ads, what you do when you start a campaign is you pick a goal, right? So you can go in and you can tell Facebook, hey, I wanna generate more likes, or I wanna generate more video views, or I wanna generate more engagement, or I wanna drive traffic to a website, or get people to fill out a lead form, right? There's lots of options. When you choose those options, you are essentially picking an algorithm. So for example's sake, if you tell Facebook, hey, I want to run this particular campaign and I want to get conversions, you're running a conversion campaign on Facebook. What Facebook will do is look at all the people that come through your funnel, right? And who actually converts at the end. They will start showing your ads to more people that are like the person that came through the back end of the funnel. And over time, as you give it more data, right, you give it more leads, it identifies on the front end who's in that large targeting audience that you have that is becoming a lead, that is a good potential conversion for you. And rather than you just blanketing Facebook with all these advertisements, the algorithm narrows down to the very specific person that should be coming through your funnel. And then rather than like, you know, we use a fishing analogy, rather than having this like massive net where you're just drawing in all of these people to see your advertisements, mm -mm. the algorithm gets super smart and it goes out and it can, it can see 10,000 fish or 10,000 people in Facebook, you know, dive into the water, swim down and spear fish boop, and show your ad to that one specific person that's most likely to come through your funnel. So here's the funky thing that we're doing in the agency. We start out by being very specific, but we'll show our ads to everybody at the very beginning. So we don't, uh, at the very beginning, we don't say male or female or a specific age range. We write very good copy. And we show that copy to a broad audience because we know that only very specific people will be interested in that copy. So we're able to take a massive audience and get a very small number of people to come through and engage with our offer. And we're doing that to train the Facebook algorithm on who they should be targeting. So as you watch one of our campaigns grow and get smarter, we're training the algorithm on who the perfect person is. It could be, um, you know, a mortgage refinance, or it could be just a si simple getting a mortgage or a home loan or a first time home buyer, or, you know, we've got all kinds of other, so a good friend of mine is an orthodontist. We were able to train Facebook on who the specific ads should be shown to, to book an orthodontic appointment, right? We've done veterinarians, cosmetic surgeons, all kinds of cool industries where I've just like helped people out every single time this process works because you start very broad, write really good ads, and give an offer that repels people that you don't want in your funnel and only brings through the people that you do want through your funnel. That's why you've seen us teach about chatbots and surveys in order to get people through because we want them to jump through hoops before they actually uh, become a lead because when somebody becomes a lead, we feed that information back to the social network so that we can get even better leads through the system ongoing. And guess what? We now have campaigns for our clients and for ourselves, right? That are so intelligent that we're able to go in, run a campaign and have no targeting options whatsoever. We can just pick a state and just say, hey, go show our ads in that state. The algorithm has become so intelligent because we fed the data on who our perfect customer is. It can look at statewide traffic and narrow down on exactly who it is that should be seeing our advertisement and show our ads to just those people. So when you look at this and all the news and all the, the craziness that's going on right now on you know and all the private groups and all that kind of stuff, man, if, if you know how to write good copy, 
Use an offer to convert your traffic properly and repel low quality leads. And you've got a long term perspective on advertising that we are building assets that we're going to leverage for years, not a month or two months. Once you have the audience, your competitors don't. That is an asset that's specific to you that you can scale over time, right? So you've got to have that long term vision and understand that if you train your specific pixel inside your specific ads account, you don't need this little micro targeting stuff, right? You can be very broad with your audience and still get the perfect customer through the perfect funnel. And we've been doing this like this uh, for years now. Uh, definitely, uh, I think we were ahead of the curve. So let's talk about um, a little bit about why this is so good. So we don't want to discriminate. We want to attract. Right? You don't want to discriminate ever against anybody. I mean, that's just like, if you know me, I'm kind of like a, like a part-time hippie. I'm like a hippie capitalist, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, we never want to discriminate anybody. We want everybody to have the option to come through our loan programs. We use our advertisements so that they can choose whether we're the right business for them to be doing business with, right? And that's good advertising. Remember, good copy, good offer, and amazing follow-up sequences. We'll talk about that in just a second. Your pixel makes your leads better. If you're not willing to invest in the pixel and driving traffic, you probably shouldn't be running ads on Facebook. There's other channels that you can use or like there's door knocking, you can do that, you know, um, but you should be using some form of digital advertising and it doesn't just turn on and work. You have to go through a process of making sure that you're showing the right ads to the right audience at the right time. And the way to do that is slowly at first and then scale up over time, right? Then your smart offer feeds you the right clients so that over time your algorithm learns who to show your advertisements to. So in a year from today, you have this asset in your business that nobody else does. You've got this like blue ocean around your local business where you're able to just run an ad, get local customers that are high quality and your competitors can't. Again, Facebook and online advertising is not getting easier. It's also not getting cheaper, right? Today, is like this year is the first year ever where digital media spend is going to actually be larger than traditional print media, that billboards, bench signs, TV, radio, all that kind of stuff. Digital online media, there's now more dollars spent there than there is on traditional media. So simple supply and demand more advertisers and more large scale advertisers like Coke and Pepsi and all like GM. And as soon as those big advertisers come into the space, people like us, us local business owners, our ad costs are going to go up to run on this network. Take this opportunity while you have, you should be running ads on these social networks, training your algorithms, creating that blue ocean. Now, while you still have the opportunity to do so. Um, and then your follow-up naturally brings the clients that are ready to you. So you've obviously seen, uh, if you haven't, go back in our Facebook newsfeed history and watch some of the videos on follow-up sequencing that I've done. Because there's three <laughs> parts to conversion, right? So there is your traffic and like you actually showing the ads to the people and getting them to click. Then you're, there's your offer, right? You don't want to use a, a low threshold offer where you're trying to get as many people to opt in. You want to use some type of like survey or some type of like hurdle system that you put in front of people. So it's hard to opt in because that increases the quality of the leads that you get to work. And then all of those leads should go into an automated follow-up system that sends ringless voicemails, text messages, emails, and does a professional job of following up. Because if you're running a business, you're too busy to do good follow-up with every single lead that you can generate. Social media, Google advertising, YouTube advertising, Facebook, Instagram, they can generate such an incredible flow of new leads that an, an average person just can't keep up with them all. So you have to have automation. Good targeting and good ads, good offers, good follow-up sequences, that is enough to build any business in today's world. And absolutely, you should be. Now, let's get back to this, my favorite part of the presentation. This is this right here is chocolate. This is actually uh, chocolate that my uh, that my son is uh, is selling or was selling, I guess, for like one of the school fundraisers or whatever. And I so 
uh, <laughs> I don't know if you could tell, but like if you go back in the history of the videos, like my face keeps getting like a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller because I'm not, I'm off the sugar, right? But um, I thought this was a perfect analogy, maybe because I don't get to eat it uh, as much as I used to. I freaking love chocolate. Like I just, one little square of this, mm, and I'm a happy man. And th think of this, right? Like digital advertising. This is Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and Google. It's so good. It's so good. And when you get a funnel that's working, it's just so satisfying and amazing, right? But this is just online marketing. There's still calling your past customer database. There's still networking with other businesses in your local marketplace. And this could be realtors or uh, financial planners or insurance professionals or whatever it is, right? So this is just online. And what happens when you take traditional marketing methods, let's call this the offline type of marketing, you add them together. And I gotta tell you, I love chocolate, but I freaking love peanut butter and chocolate. You put these two together and they both get better. By themselves, still awesome, they still work, but man, you put them together and you got a combination that you just can't beat, which is why I am so thrilled to announce that Carl White and myself, the Mortgage Marketing Animals and Connection Incorporated, the peanut butter and chocolate of the mortgage and real estate industry, man, we're coming together. And we are announcing today a brand new membership where you get to learn the absolute best of the online marketing strategies and the absolute best of the offline marketing strategies. So here's what this means for you, okay? When you go to ciinnercircle.com, that's CI for Connection Incorporated, innercircle.com, okay? It's gonna forward you to a sales page that has the Mortgage Marketing Animals logo up at the top and then an order form with some benefits over on the right-hand side. And what this is, is it's a monthly membership where you get taught how to properly run your mortgage business, okay? It's the best of offline marketing. It's the best of online marketing. So let me tell you what you get from the Connection Incorporated side, then I'll go through what's included in the Mortgage Marketing Animal side, and, uh, and then we'll wrap up for today. So here's what this is. On the Connection Incorporated side, we started a monthly training. It was called the CI Inner Circle, and there was a monthly newsletter that went along with it, which I am so proud of. I personally write it. I literally slave over a computer to produce the content. Um, our average, you know, we've produced two episodes of it, and they're between like 17 and 24 pages, and it's literally one campaign for your business mapped out inside that newsletter. Then it comes with a campaign, what we call framework. And that framework is a PowerPoint presentation where one of our account managers has taken the campaign and screenshot every single step in the process. So our first episode the, uh, that we launched with was our chat bot. So how to use ManyChat to build an automatic tool that will have a conversation with somebody who's looking to get approved for a mortgage. And it kind of like pre-qualifies them for you uh, before you actually have to like work the lead or talk to them at all. It's amazing. And so inside the newsletter, you get to understand how the campaign works. And then you get a framework that shows you step-by-step, click-by-click, how to build that into your business and launch it right? Then obviously you're going to have questions while you're building it, right? So we put together a private Facebook group where you can go, you can ask questions and you get access to me, you get access to Carl, you get access to our account managers, you get access to the entire mortgage marketing animals team. So if you get a question about implementing something in your business, you get real time support with the answer to your question. Like for example, Facebook is going to change things, right? Well, if you don't know what to do, what are you going to do? You just shut your Facebook ads off and try something else? Well, Facebook isn't going away. It's just getting better and better. And now is the time to be in on this stuff. So we want you at the forefront of the information of what's working. And that's what our inner circle is all about. Now, you get a weekly call where we show up, 
Uh, we do really cool things like you can send us in your marketing campaign that you've built and I'll show you how to optimize it and make it better or we'll show you how to launch it out or if you have specific questions about something, we all solve that together as a community and you get to watch the other people ask their questions so that you get to learn from other people and see what other people are doing in their business as well. And in that membership, I'm teaching Google advertising. So how to get ranked on the front page of Google, how to get ratings and reviews so that when people Google mortgage lender, your business shows up on the local map, you get those phone calls. We're teaching Google ads, how to actually um, hack is not a word that I particularly like, but we have a strategy for using Google AdWords so you don't have to compete against the major like big boys in the industry so that you get really highly targeted traffic, but you pay kind of like older style uh, cost per click. So you get cheaper traffic, but better quality leads. So we teach that inside the membership. We've got YouTube training, we have Facebook training, Instagram training. If you wanna grow your business using digital marketing, it's inside this membership. And you can go to ciinnercircle.com in order to invest. Uh, the pricing is, uh, it's, it's crazy. It's $397 uh, for the month. There's no long-term contract. You can cancel at any time. Once you're in and you see the value of what you get in that membership, it's just uh, unbelievable. You're absolutely going to love it. So that's ciinnercircle.com. And that's what we've got for you on the online portion. Now let's talk about the offline part, the peanut butter to the chocolate, right? So the mortgage marketing animals, if, if you're unaware, they have been, I believe, you know, one of the largest and most uh, well-respected uh, training companies in the mortgage space for years and years and years. And Carl, Carl White, my partner uh, in this program, uh, is just a wealth of knowledge of what works to build a mortgage business. Because it's not just online. If you're just trying Facebook and Instagram, you're missing out. Because there's really three core pillars to building a mortgage business, right? You've got your past customer database, right? And there's four specific things that you should be doing to activate the most amount of deals from your past customer database. Only one of them is online, right? The other three are offline. Right now we have automation tools that help make that offline stuff a lot easier and more effective, but ultimately one is online, three is offline, right? You get access to all of those inside the membership, by the way, like specific courses taught by Carl that actually walk you through the process of getting that in. And if you're in the mortgage industry, statistically speaking, you probably get the majority of your deals from referrals from past customers and center of influence. So they will take that portion of your business and make it larger, right? And, and in a way where you know what to do. So what's step one, what's step two, what's step three? So you don't get overwhelmed, you just follow along the roadmap. It's like literally when you purchase, you get a 90 day plan where we're walking you through, hey, welcome, it's day one, here's what you do, right? Here's day two, here's day three, here's day four, all the way to 90 days so that we know the levers that are going to move the needle the most for you get pulled first so that you get a phenomenal experience in the membership and you stay a member, right? It's like the, the craziest business model ever. Like we help you to close more loans in your business so that when you look at investing in our program, it's like, oh, I can't possibly stop. It's just that valuable, right? So uh, tremendous value in helping you is our plan, you know, <laughs> and then the second way to grow your business is realtor referrals. And Carl is also a legend at being able to set up really valuable referral relationships in the real estate industry. And so uh, he teaches you all of those strategies inside the membership. So, you know, how to target the right people, what to say to them on the phone. You get the scripts, you get the outline of the process of what you need to do and what you need to send, to send or say where and when, right? It's amazing. Um, and we have online strategies to put you in front of those people so that when you're making your calls, you're doing your coffee appointments, you're teaching your trainings, you're holding the live seminars, right? All of those work better because of the online ads that you're running to promote those things, right? We have this incredible strategy uh, that we use that utilizes retargeting, which by the way, the first two, like getting more deals from your past customers and getting more deals from referral partners, these changes, 
don't affect that at all. Everything stays the same, not affected at all. So what we're going to show you how to do is identify the right real estate partners in your marketplace. Go to them with an offer that builds the relationship, helps you close deals while you're building the relationship, and then maintain that relationship long term so that you get more referrals from that person over time. And we do it in a way where there's a system to it. So you're just doing the same thing over and over and over again. So it's not just like you get lucky and you get one realtor referral relationship. It's you pick how many realtor referral relationships you want or financial planners or insurance professionals, whatever it is. And then you just follow that system on repeat until you get the number of partners that you want in order to hit the revenue in your business that you want. Pretty simple process, right? So the first is past customer database marketing. The second is referral partner marketing. And the third is direct to market advertising, right? Now, online is the primary source inside the training for generating those leads, but we also have direct to market strategies that are working to close loans right now in there. You get access to training on absolutely everything uh, when you join today. So go to CI innercircle.com. I'm going to run through the list because I'm sure uh, there's so much value in here. I'm sure I missed something. So you get a step-by-step -step what to do for the first 90 days, okay? That which is amazing. And again, for the initial investment of $397 to see that whole plan, I mean, just that is worth it, right? Then you get more referrals from referral partners. You get more deals from your database and you get more deals from social media. And really basically our team becomes your team. So if you run into a question, you can reach out. Uh, so we've got live chat on the website. We've got a ticket system where you can just submit your ticket and get help. We have a phone number that you can call and get help there. We're here to support you and make you successful. You get access to our elite community of mortgage lenders. So inside that Facebook group, there's somebody who has already successfully done what you're looking to do in your mortgage business. So when you say, hey, I'm implementing this strategy, you'll have people in that group that will come and support you and help you. They've already stubbed their toe, right? So they'll come and help you. In return, we ask that the successful methods that you have that are helping you to grow your mortgage business, you're gonna share that with the community, right? We all come together and help each other do a better job of closing more loans. Then you get weekly training, we call them safe cracking classes and recordings because we take something that has been previously kind of like unaccessible to you or you got overwhelmed with it or whatever, we just blow that open for you, help you become successful with it. You get two newsletters. You get my newsletter on the inner circle side of things for Connection Incorporated. And then you also get the Mortgage Marketing Animals newsletter. So, and it's the, it's perfect. Ours is online, theirs is offline. They complement each other. It's offline and online, the best of both worlds. I like, like, it's get, taking so much self-control for me to not just be like, hold on, I'm just gonna eat for a little bit. I'm not even gonna eat this. This is going right in the trash after we're done. Anyways, you get the scripts, the mailers, the ads, the phone scripts, the, the follow-up campaigns that go into the online marketing campaigns. Like, what do you say on the ringless voicemail? What text messages do you send? What emails do you send? All of that is included inside the membership when you go to www.ci, which stands for Connection Incorporated, ciinnercircle.com. That will forward you to a page that says Mortgage Marketing Animals on the top of it. When you submit your payment uh, for the $397 per month, you will get immediate access to everything that is inside the membership area. And then you're also getting direct access to Carl and myself. Uh, we do a lakeside chat. Uh, so Carl does it by a lake. I do it by this. <laughs> right? uh, his background is a little bit nicer than mine. But we do these lakeside chats where you can just like pop on. Uh, normally, I've got about a 15-minute presentation um, that I do. And then we just open it up and chat about your business and give you help on late, the latest changes, like the Facebook change that came out. And we keep you up to date with what's happening. So um, that's what we've got for you. Wanted to make sure that you knew what the big changes were all about and let you know that you really don't need to worry about it. As long as you're writing good ads, you've got a good offer and you've got a good follow-up system, it's all good. Facebook is making a great change not to discriminate against people. We're behind it 100%. And again, it's going to take the bad advertisers. They can go away. That's okay. They were no bueno in the first part and just leave us advertisers who are actually helping people on the network so that we can do a better job of helping people. So I hope that you really enjoyed the video. 
Um, and I look forward to seeing you on the inside at ciinnercircle.com. My name is Chris Johnstone. I'll see you in the next video. All right, later, everybody. Bye.